Hi guys and welcome to today's video tutorial. Uh, my name is Keith Walsh and I'm going to talk you through uh, really quickly the Leaving Cert Geography paper um, that, that um, all of these six year students would have just taken. Um, and I'm going to do a quick analysis of the predictions that I gave um, for the Leaving Cert Geography paper and see how uh, those predictions fared. Okay. So for physical geography the predictions that I gave, first one was uh, to make sure to know erosion or deposition and landform. Um, for fluvial coast or glacial for one of them okay um, and I was delighted when I saw um, that the fluvial came up because that's the one that we would have uh, been hoping for it's like usually it changes the one that I would have tipped more um, so that was so that one came up so fantastic so we've got the um, the waterfall if you were doing fluvial if you're doing coastal maybe you might have learned off like a cliff whatever it might might have been but the but that one came up okay so that was fantastic the next one was the formation of rocks. Make sure I said that's the second one to make sure now because it's very likely that come up. So make sure now the formation of sedimentary metamorphic and igneous and metamorphic was the one that came up. So again, the second um, essay that I predicted for 30 marker, we've got we've got two out of six so far. Uh, human interaction with the with the rock cycle, that was a third priority. And again, I was delighted when I saw that come up in the paper. So that was three out of six we got. Um, the fourth one was chemical and mechanical weathering and I was delighted when I saw mechanical weathering was the one that came up in the exam. So we got four out of six and then I gave constructive plate boundaries. Okay, so out of uh, the five predictions that I gave, uh, four came, came, out of, uh, came up out of six uh, possible questions. If you're a member of exam revision, I would have also uh, talked about a priority list um, and ways that you should learn um, you should learn like an order of priority and i would have had like the human interaction with surface processes like the construction of like say dams for fluvial and um, is, is a really really high priority and uh, so those of you that were a member you might have you might have learned that off and that would have been like a five out of six so amazingly think about it, really that we got and um, we managed to get um at a six 30 mark questions managed to get to get four of them okay and uh, so if you were a student that was that were you were hoping to do the physical uh, geography a question that was perfect. You might even have, have completed two questions from physical geography because so many of these predictions came up. Okay, so moving on, we've got the next one's regional geography. Okay, so with the regional geography, um, the first one that I said um, was like, make sure to be able to draw the sketch maps of Ireland, Paris Basin, and Brazil. And yeah, so it was Ireland that came up. Okay, okay, sorry. Um, it was Ireland that came up. Um, just gonna rub off this here. It's Ireland that came up, and um, just go. so it was Ireland that came up. So we, so that one, so that one came up. Um, first one. Okay, back to regional geography. Sorry, here we go. Um. So with, with this one, the first one I said was to make sure like uh, know the sketch maps and this isn't come up so because we, we are, you're asked to draw the sketch map of Ireland. Uh, for Ireland, I said make sure you, there was tip in primary and tertiary economic activities and primary economic activities come up for Ireland. So that's fantastic. Delighted when I saw that. For a European region, uh, the, Paris, the Paris Basin, I was saying tertiary, the EU and tertiary came up. Uh, so again, we got uh, three that I predicted uh, we got we got three out of uh, four so far and then with Brazil for this for your subcontinental region and our continental region um, I said to know primary and secondary and secondary came up so again we got four the four that I tipped for regional and um, they again come up on the exam so I was delighted when I saw that and I hope lots of you learned off those essays and were able to then to use them for like on the day uh, today and um, for the economic elective um, the first thing that I said was that make sure you know the 30 mark OS map question. That'd be the first one that you'd want to, to learn off. Why? Because it comes up every single year. Um, so those, uh, and again, I was delighted when I saw that question come up uh, for you guys. Um, so that was a nice uh, 30 marker there. Uh, the OS map, again, I said it comes up every year. It's OS or area photograph. Um, and again, that question came up. So that was two out of two so far. Uh, multinational cooperation. Um, for the economic collective was was a third in priority to, to learn off that came up was I was absolutely delighted and the footless industry came up as a, as a separate question as well and um, so those of you that was on exam vision might have learned off like Dell and um, you, could, you could use that essay for both the uh, multinational corporation and the footless industry and would you believe it the environmental impacts also come up had to be sustainable for sustainability uh, so 
the, the five different things that we tipped for the economic collective. Uh, again, they all came up. And then moving on to the last one. So for your, um, the ones that we tend to do is geoecology, the, the biome question. I said that if you learn off the three, uh, three of these, uh, so plants and that, uh, plants and that animals adapt, characteristics of a biome and human interaction uh, with a biome, that you will get one of those questions. One of them will come up on the exam paper. And it was the characteristics question that came up uh, for you guys like this year, okay? Um, which was a lovely question. It was the second in, in priority list um, after the plants and animals had uh, adapted um, and that question came up. So again, fantastic. It was absolutely delighted. I hope you watched the, our predictions videos. Um, if you're a fifth year student who's sitting the paper next year, uh, make sure to, to, to sign up to exam vision, get ahead of the game and you can uh, get off to a, a great start. You can get the inside track um, into um, in, into next year, into, into like score well in, in, in your paper in 2023. Uh, those of you that completed like the, the geography um, exam paper today for 2022, well done. You've finished, it's over. It's, one, it's another exam then and best luck in the rest of your exams, okay? Um, and if for more um, tips and support for leaving search, just follow us on social media. We've got Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, uh, Facebook, and of course the YouTube channel here that you're watching this on. So please do hit that subscribe button. Thanks, guys.